Welcome to our video. Here we show how fractal metamaterials can be used to retrofit a simple monopole antenna, dramatically increasing its bandwidth and gain. The monopole antenna was invented by Marconi and uses a quarter wave vertical wire, typically a half wave diameter ground plane or plate. It's very simple, omnidirectional, and the most common antenna in electronics. By using a calibrated Agilent network analyzer, we can go and find out what this looks like. We can show both the gain and SWR of an 800 MHz monopole, as we will here. We use the usual Cal kits for S11 and normalized to a 6 dBi log periodic for S12 on the network analyzer. And there's nothing but choke cables going to the pickup antenna and the so-called antenna under test. Here's what the data looks like. Notice the top curve showing the gain of the monopole. Since this was calibrated against a log periodic antenna as a standard, you can see that the gain is about minus 5 or about 1 dBi, exactly what you'd expect from a standard monopole. The SWR has a moderate Q, or said another way, a limited passband. There's no first harmonic, and you can see the edge of the second harmonic over on the right coming into resonance. The monopole works fine for a narrow band of interest, but it's useless in most modern wireless apps where multiband and wideband uses are required. Wouldn't it be great to have a simple way to broaden the bandwidth and keep the gain about the same or better? That's what motivated us here, and we show a lab prototype of our proprietary new technology that actually addresses this using fractal metamaterials. Fractal scientists invented fractal antennas and fractal resonators and reported them in the first scientific publication in August of 1995. Resonators are tuned circuits. We use fractals to make the tuned circuit without any components and just as a circuit board trace. They are partless circuits. When placed close together, these fractal resonators use evanescent waves to essentially talk to each other effectively making a sheet of resonators acting as one unit. It has an unusual current distribution compared to a continuous sheet, and such a resonator sheet is also called a metamaterial. Fractals enhance this metamaterial property by increasing the bandedness and bandwidth and shrinking the resonator size for greater packing and performance. We'll now use them to make a better monopole using a slip-on sleeve assembly from these fractal metamaterials. Let's do an experiment to show this. All experiments need controls, and in this case we're introducing a copper sleeve that is a continuous cylindrical sheet that sits on top of the monopole but has no direct contact with it. The sleeve is interfaced with a shallow cone and uses lossless foam. Let's pop the copper sleeve on top of the monopole. We place the network analyzer in the shot so you can see the only change is in the slip-on sleeve. The network analyzer is not providing a noticeable reflected path, as we saw no difference when the network analyzer was much farther away. Notice that we have a long time constant on the network analyzer to make it easier to see the changes. The bandwidth looks a bit better than the monopole alone, but not by much when you put on the copper sleeve. Here's a blow up of the data compared to the monopole itself. Notice how the sleeve of copper actually suppresses the gain as you go up in frequency. Maybe a little bit better at resonance, but nothing to write home about. Now to replace the copper sleeve with one made of fractal metamaterials. The blue tape is used to secure the fractal cylinder and is lossless at these frequencies. Here's the two side by side, that is the copper sleeve and the fractal metamaterial one. And now of course, we're going to do the same slip-on procedure with the fractal metamaterial. Slipping this fractal metamaterial on top of the monopole produces a huge difference. The bandwidth is essentially tripled, and the gain even increases as the frequency increases. That's a startling and unexpected result. All this is from a slip-on collar with no components, no power, and no direct electrical connection. And here's a still of the data, compared as usual to the monopole alone. Not only is the bandwidth greater for the fractal metamaterial sleeve, but the gain increases as well. Some of that is because the SWR mismatch is reduced, but a substantial amount is overreach. 
and we can prove this. Here's a blow up of the upper section of the passband where the second harmonic kicks in for the monopole alone. Here the SWRs are identical, but the fractal metamaterial slip-on collar has a 3 dB increase over the monopole. So the gain increase you're seeing is not from the correction of a relative mismatch change. The fractal metamaterials have used the entire sheet as a current source, while the dipole, in contrast, has broken into two sinusoids separated in height. Finally, here's a summary of the fractal advantages in this particular example using the fractal metamaterials. We hope you enjoy this video and invite you to see others from Fractal Antenna Systems. Visit our website at www.fractenna.com.